2015 has put Spencer Stone's bravery to the test. First, without hesitation, the Air Force Staff Sergeant helped to stop a terror attack on a French train back in August. Then in October, he survived a stabbing in Sacramento, California. He'll return to active duty soon. But first, Spencer is here in New York to accept the USO's George Van Cleve Military Leadership Award. He's with us now along with Air Force Secretary Deborah Lee James. Secretary James, Sergeant, good to have you both here. Thanks for having us. It's been a tough year. Yes, it has. It really has. You happy to see it coming to an end? Yeah, it's winding down, hopefully. Yeah, you, you go back to France and your heroics, along with two friends of yours aboard that train that helped to stop a terror attack. You were injured in the process, although luckily not life-threatening injuries. Yes, sir. Recovered fully from those? Not fully yet. I still got some work on my thumb, but it's coming along. And then fast forward October, Sergeant. You're in Sacramento outside a club involved in an altercation, you got stabbed, and the injuries from that were much more life-threatening. Yeah, a lot more life-threatening. They actually called out the homicide team originally because they didn't think I was going to make it. But I was in the hospital about six minutes from the ambulance and then in surgery within like 30 or 45. So, you know, I can't thank UC Davis staff enough for saving my life. Stab wounds to your heart, your lungs, your liver. It could have easily gone the other way. Very easy. Secretary James, Spencer is about to receive this award for his actions, his heroic actions. And I don't know whether he gets tired of hearing it. We don't get tired of saying it in France on that day. Talk to me about the award. Uh, we don't get tired of talking about it either, Matt. The United States Air Force, we are all so very proud of Sergeant Stone. Um, what happened on the train that day could have been <clears throat> a catastrophe for many, many people. And, you know, when something happens, when there's sudden danger, most of us, the instinct is to flee, to hunker down, to get away from the gunshot, uh, the, the firing of guns. But Spencer Stone and his two friends that day, they had the opposite instinct. They went toward the fire. And because of their actions, everybody on that train went home to their families. Everyone lived. Sergeant, how often do you replay it in your mind? Every day. You do? For sure. And, and do you always see it ending the way it, it actually ended, or do you allow yourself to think, what if? What if I had been a foot to the right or a second all the time. later? Yeah, all the time. Is There's that so hard? many other things. Eh, not for me. I think it just depends on the person. But, uh, you know, there's so many other things that could have gone wrong. And if one of them did, it would have been a totally different situation. And mostly, you know, it comes to mind even more when, even when the recent attacks in Paris, I, I, my heart really goes out to France for that. Um, you know, that really brought up, you know, the memories. And you bring up Paris and, and Secretary James, it seems the, the, the battlefield is changing. A and members of the armed services, ordinary citizens might be called upon to act to prevent acts of terror and violence in different ways than we have been in the past. You're right, Matt. The battlefield has become, in many ways, global, and these things can pop up literally anywhere thanks to the power of the Internet, and people can now become uh, radicalized. They can get access to information, which 20 or 30 years ago simply was not um, possible. So I think it's a reminder for all of us that we've got to keep up this fight against Daesh in the Middle East, first and foremost, but we also have to take great care here at home. And when things happen unexpectedly, it's always nice to have people like Sergeant Stone on hand to help out people. Absolutely. We, we really appreciate your, your heroism. Well, thank you, sir. Spencer, it's great to see you. Happy holidays. Secretary James, thank you to you as thank well. Thank you, Matt. We thank appreciate you. It. Merry Christmas. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.